it's Mrs. Nandor, and in this video we're going to look at uh, what is density and how do we find and use density. So let's start with the definition. Density is the amount of matter in one unit of volume. So it's the amount of matter in one unit of volume. So if we have one milliliter, the density is how many grams it has in that one milliliter. So the volume is always standard. It's in one unit of volume and then it's a measure of how much mass or how much matter is in it. So let's talk about the units. So the amount of matter or the mass we measure in grams. So we're, it's always going to be grams per a volume unit. So our common volume units that we're going to use, especially when we're working with density, are grams per milliliter and grams per centimeter cubed. So say, for example, I have a substance that has a density of 2.7 grams per milliliter. This means that in one milliliter of the substance, that one milliliter is going to have a mass of 2.7 grams. So if I were to measure out exactly one milliliter, I should anticipate my balance to read 2.7 grams. So that's how we read that. For the equation, it's a very simple equation. Density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. So we're taking the numbers that we get for grams and milliliters, or grams and centimeters cubed, and we're simply dividing them. It's always mass divided by volume. So let's look at an example. First example reads, a substance has a mass of 10 grams and a volume of 5 milliliters. Calculate the density. So we know that density equals mass divided by volume. So my mass is 10 grams. My volume is 5 milliliters. Now, my units aren't going to cancel. We can't do grams divided by milliliters with our units. So our units are going to stay grams per milliliter. But if I divide my numbers, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So this substance has a density of 2 grams per milliliter. So if I were to measure out 1 milliliter of the substance, it should have a density of 2. 